guys, how you doing? JP Sari Kolia here, and welcome again to another statue review. And this time we're going to review the new Captain America fan art statue by Kotobukiya. And here we are looking first at the box. These are bigger boxes than they we used to have in the past. I'm not a big fan of the size of the box, but I am a fan of the art. On this side of the box, we can see an image of the statue, very cool image. On the back of the box, we see a full image of the statue, also some pictures from different angles, and it says sculpted by Restore. On the other side, we can see another angle of the statue, also a really cool image. Now on the top of the box, you can see the title of Captain America, also the serial number. This is 535 out of 800 pieces. I think that's a nice addition size. One thing I wanna point out, if you look at the side of the box, you can see some engraved images. You can see a star, the face of Captain America, also the name of Captain America. I like that, that's a nice touch. And at the bottom of the box, you can see all the warning information, all the legal information from Marvel and Kotobukiya, and also the title of Captain America. All right, guys, now we're looking at the statue and I'm telling you, I'm, I really like this depiction, to be honest with you. However, it doesn't mean that it's perfect and we're gonna point that out. But the overall design, I think the concept is there. I really like what Kurobukiya, what Restore was trying to do with this. The sculpt in this piece is really fantastic. When you really get closer and you can see the image of Captain America right there, that face is really well done. Now, one thing that was pointed out by a lot of collectors that they got this is that the shield is warp. It's made out of plastic. I thought that it was just because of the way, probably the heat inside the box that it warped it. But when I try to fix it, because you can disassemble that piece and you can, I put it on warm water like you do with action figures to trying to bend stuff and it didn't bend back and I'm gonna show you why in a moment why it's not doing it so it was an imperfection from manufacturing and it's unfortunate because I think the piece is great but overall when you look at the statue I love the detail there I think the paint job is on point I would say that the the one that was done by Eric Sosa it's fantastic I, it's a phenomenal piece I loved it for a long time I like this one I think the sculpt in this one is better However, I did like the simple pose of that one. Now, one thing that this one suffers is this intricate basis that to be honest with you, is, is not the biggest point or the strongest point of this piece. I think it hurts the piece because there's so much stuff going on. And this whole thing with the holding the shield this way, to be honest, it's not necessary. They could have just simply attached this to the arm, make it in a different way. I will find a solution to try to get rid of all of this. Overall, I will tell you the paint job, this is superb. And I think that's something that Kurovuki is doing and improving. And some people may be concerned about some leaning at some point, and yeah, it is there. But to be honest, the piece is not as heavy. The material feels solid, but at the same time, doesn't feel too heavy. So I think probably this is the type of resin they're using in comparison to before but it's really, really good, well done. I like it. I think it's very secure. I already have it on display for a couple of weeks and I haven't seen any type of problems. Of course, you know, time will tell. It's too soon to tell, but um, I really like the detail that we have here. Now I'm removing the shield so we can have a better look at his face and his expression on the body here. You can see the detail. They did a really nice job. The paint up is good. The teeth are well done. Uh, it, there's even some texture in his Kyle, it's a texture all around all this, of course. This is really good. The whole thing, the paint job and the different shading and how bright it is at some spots. The start even has some of that uh, lines in there. Really well done. The paint job is really good here. Now looking at the shield, as you can see, like I mentioned, it is warp. Look at that, how bad. And I put it on warm water. And the problem here is because these pieces, when they glue them together, they glue them too close. The plastic expanded and ultimately warped the whole thing. This is not gonna be fixed just like that. Now I've been thinking about replacing this. I can also get one of those Hot Toys shields that you can find online on eBay or stuff like that. Some of those replacements for Hot Toys. And I can use that one just to add it here if I wanted to or I can do one here right back. I could do this with this one, but to be honest, I don't like the warp. That would be a solution. Doesn't mean that is the perfect solution, but that's just a, a defect that came from the factory. What they could have done is just add it here some way. I've seen some people that even put it here in the back, which is not a bad idea. And also, you know, I've seen someone and I saw that in a video that put it right here just for display. Now I'm gonna point out a problem that happens with mine. This one came broken, it came damaged. And this little piece right here came off. Thankfully, the cut is clean and I can glue it. 
And uh, I even tried to get a replacement through SciShow because I purchased this through SciShow, but because they were completely out of replacements, they couldn't send me one. They gave me a credit, which I took the credit because I know this is an easy fix for me. There's a lot of different parts, to be honest with you, that they're really unnecessary in my opinion. A lot of things, for, for example, I removed this piece here just to show you. And that's just one thing, of course, that what holds the shield. And then you have this part, and there's a lot of different parts that they separate. This part also comes out. All of these things, in my opinion, man, are not necessary. And I think they're trying to do better bases now, but still, I don't think they have nailed what they, you know, what they're trying to do here. Sometimes these bases are unnecessary. That's as huge as they are, Captain America is not as bad as I would say Cyclops, which is huge. The base is huge, and to be honest, it's an eyesore at times when you really get close to it. But you know, it's just they trying to do something different and we gotta give them some credit for at least trying to, to improve on what they did in the past. All right, time to make some comparisons. As you can see right next to these two pieces, one bow and the signs, the juggernaut, and then we have the Wolverine from the previous uh, X-Men uh, Dungeon Room Sessions line. I would say it looks really on scale. I really like the scale in comparison with Wolverine. Of course, Bowen is always smaller, but Juggernaut is one of the biggest uh, statues on the Bowen scale, so it's a 1.7. I think it still matches well. Uh, it depends on what type of display you're creating, but that gives you a reference of what they're trying to do here, so that's, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, final thoughts. I really like Captain America. I think the design or the desire Oh, the purpose of this statue is great. Uh, it is an action pose, very dynamic. It's a new concept, really like the concept. However, in the end, the application of that concept is not the best. And that's just because of the way the shield is set there, what is holding the shield, all of that. I think that's the, the part that really hurts this piece. Beyond that, the sculpt is fantastic on, on Captain America. I think the paint job is amazing. And the base, even though it has so many different parts, I think the paint job is it, better than what they used to do. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that this comes with a manual. That's something that um, Kurobuki has been doing. It gives you an idea. I like that they're doing this because it helps you, particularly when there's so many parts and you don't know what is what and you want to figure it out. I think this helps a lot. So. I would say I recommend it. It's hard to find out. I think it was sold out at SciShow. I think other places may have it. You have to look around. I'm looking forward to Thor and Iron Man and also Magneto and everything else that is coming next year. Really looks great. Uh, I recommend it if you're really into it. Now, I would recommend it if you don't have a Captain America and you are into the 1-6 scale. If you can find the other Captain America by, um, by Eric Sosa, I will go for it too because I think it's a phenomenal piece. And I would say price-wise, it will be around the same. If you're into dynamic poses, this is the one. If you're into more museum poses, that would be the one. However, that one doesn't have as much detail as this one. However, the sculpt is fantastic. But what is your opinion? What do you think about this piece? Are you a fan? You're not a fan? Are you concerned about some aspects of it? Uh, what do you think about the defects? All of that. Let me know in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button to remind you of the next video. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. The links are down below. And please consider supporting the channel financially through Patreon. My friends, God bless you. Take care, and I will talk to you again. Bye-bye.